so in yesterday's live stream we were talking about making space for the good things and I was talking about making my first successful after several failed attempts sourdough bread so now I'd like to take you into my little kitchen and show you how I do it in case you want to try it for yourself okay so I'm no expert but it was again successful and this recipe I took from a vlog that I'm going to link below so let's get started first step is to have a sourdough starter which we got this one from our friend Mark Wiener and um, yeah so you can make your own starter I've never tried that all nice and bubbly you <laughs> pointed out my really it dirty shirt I oh, sorry about that So I'm going to use two and three quarters, or I might even go with three cups, three cups of flour. And I'm kind of, kind of sort of estimating it, which is like, you know, whatever. So one cup of cold water. So just putting that in. Just a, a shot of olive oil, the salt. Now some honey, about a spoonful. I'm eyeballing it, because why not? And um, that's it. All right, so this is now this like little mixture. So I'm going to just lightly combine it, stir it, mix it a little bit and just leave it for an hour. And then it is going to be marrying with the sourdough starter. And then the fun and games begin. Now I've got all the ingredients, those previous ingredients in there. And now I'm adding the starter. I've got my starter. And just putting it in there in the mixer that I have and I'm using one of these spiral attachment things okay and now I'm just going to stir that together for like a minute or two so I'm gonna just add a little bit at a time this flour prepared this bowl with some olive oil in it and I'm going to take my dough out was that it was so incredibly sticky the dough that it was like all over my hands it was so gooey I think that was a real problem um, and so I tried to make it a little bit drier by adding a bit more flour this time so now I'm just going to coat it with the olive oil on both sides and that's it now put a towel over it and let it rest for one hour Okay, so now I'm going to, it's been about an hour that I've had my dough for sour bread hanging out. So now what I'm going to do is take it out and I'm going to just stretch it and fold it. Okay, and then again, stretch it. Hold it, stretch, fold, maybe one more time, stretch, and then fold. Okay, so now I put it back, and I'll put a towel over it again, and let it rest for two more hours.
sweetie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this looks a little bit like a person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 is that Bigfoot? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Okay, so I just am ready to put the bread in. All I did was just score it with a cross. Can't go wrong with that. And um, put a little bit of water, drizzled. Maybe I'll do a little bit more, just a little, like just drizzle of cold water. And I also put salt on top, sea salt. Okay, we're gonna cover this. I took this cap off my old, very old uh, Dutch oven because I cook everything in this toaster oven. There is nothing I don't cook in the toaster oven. All right, so we're going to put this guy in for 45 minutes on 450. All right, we just heard the beep. All right, time, it's time. It's time for the big reveal. Come on, I need a set of hands. I can't do this on my own. All right, wait, wait. Wait, Gosha Opus. Wait, wait, no, I actually have oven mitts. You don't want to do that. Guys don't use mitts. Yeah, guys use mitts. Guys use mitts. Don't you watch Bobby Flay? All right, wait, wait, wait. you should get the mitts. Oh. All right, all right, let's see. Oh my goodness, moment of truth. <gasps> Ooh, wow! You know, today I read that making sourdough mm. bread is the wow. Mount Everest of mm. bread baking. How do you like that? How do you like that? No, careful, careful, man. Alright, okay, let's get this. Let's get this on the board so we see. We see it in its natural habitat. It really does look very amazing. All right, so I did a little bit of practicing and now I am off to drop off that loaf for my parents because my mother was expressing an interest in it which I think she'll love it because I think it'll remind her of her homeland of Poland as well as my dad. Um, I think they'll love it. Um, and also speaking of Poland, I am going to the Polish store and I'm bringing you along with me. They have interesting things, very good Polish goods obviously because it's a Polish store. And what are Polish goods? You know, like a lot of different meats. I'm not a huge meat eater, but they have good ham, that's for sure. They have very good butter, so that'll be perfect with the bread. And um, what else? Very good, you know, like pastries. I'm obviously a very healthy eater, right? <laughs> Thank you.
Alright, so the Polish store was an adventure. I tried to go find some poppy seed cake as requested by my husband. Actually, I really love it too. I love that um, for breakfast with coffee. It's so good. Oh, but they didn't have it and then they told me to check the bakery. So I did and they did have it, but then there was a big sign saying that they only take cash, no credit cards. I was like, oh. didn't come prepared for that. So um, yeah, no poppy cake. Now I'm off to drop off the package. The package, like in that movie. What was that movie? Dropping off the package. Was it Taken? That was a scary movie. But anyway, yeah, dropping off the package with my parents. Smells so good. Look at it. Yeah, right? Yeah, That's like yeah. the Polish style. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Mmm. What do you think? Mmm. Is it good? Mm. Oh my god. 